Welcome back to XCOM Enemy Unknown. As you can see, we have our squad in position. It has been a little while since I recorded the last episode of this. And we I've had a look over the footage of the last episode just to refresh my memory on what was going on. Now, we took a blow to breakfast item here. He's lost a lot of health in one shot, I might add. That was pretty bad. And we've got Spartan Cupcake over here. We're trying to move her into position so she can start using her rockets in here. We've got an Elite Mutant. We've got another Elite Mutant over here somewhere. And an Ethereal. Yeah. The Ethereal, I'm terrified about. In the original game, they were fantastically powerful. And from what little I've seen of them so far, they're fantastically powerful in this one as well. But on the plus side, we have taken out a sack the pod. Island Cormac got the honours for that one. But there are, is like no walls left on the interior of this craft that we can use to try and sneak up on these guys. So it's a bit rough. Okay, let's see who can see what. Nagdir has got a shot. And uh, we really need you guys over here. So we know there's nothing up to about here. So we're going to charge you up in a moment. First, though... I could move you in here and just see what we can see. And if you can only see one thing, then it's okay. Go for it. Come on then, Sheriff. We okay. need to know... Oh, no, never mind. Oh, there's three. Well, that just ruins my day. Um, I would much rather you not be there right now. So, you can go ahead and move over here instead. Right. Well, we don't know what's going on there then. Um, I'm back Island Cormac over here so you can see down there. So I didn't see where those. What are these then? Because it looked like the elite mutants went into them, but I don't know. Right, you're going to stay there on Overwatch. Jester, you're just going to make a mad dash up here. Right. Okay, you'll be going in Overwatch this turn. Breakfast item. What can you see? You can still see him. I could suppress again. And honestly, I think that would, be, that would probably be the best thing to do. Now. Let's go for this shot again. You missed last time. I'm not inclined to use a headshot on him because of the previous miss. Let's see if you can... Nope, missed again. Looks like the same thing happened. That, that is, that the door got in the way. Annoyingly. I'm wondering if I should put you there. Could you still get a rocket down there? Or maybe I need to get you a bit closer. Well, we can always pull you back if this reveals too much. No, it just reveals him. That's okay. Got a low shot, but uh, go for it. Oh, wow, you hit. Well done. That weapon is fantastically powerful. Right, that just leaves you. In to Overwatch with you. Let's see, what are you going to do? Your aim is lowered. Yeah, it looks like he's not going to do anything. Fair enough. Oh, this is risky. Um, let's see. I could try and suppress again. No, no, we won't do that just yet. Let's see, how. What chance have you got? Let's see if you can do it again. Because if you can take him out, then. Oh, actually, that's pretty good. That's fine. What about you? Have you got a better shot now? No, it hasn't affected it. But take the shot, nevertheless. Oh, looks like a killing blow. Come on, Mark, here. There we go. I sincerely hope you don't go to hell, actually, Nag dear. I, I would much prefer it if, if you don't. It uh, might be un, you know, unrealistic of me, considering how many aliens you've slain. Some of them, we don't even know why they're here. They could be here on a completely legitimate reason. Maybe the government hasn't told us everything. They started this war, and they're now expecting us to blindly follow through and end it for them. These aliens could just be defending their homes. Maybe their wives and children have been killed. In which case, we're monsters, and you probably will be going to hell. 
But uh, nevertheless, I kind of hope you don't. Right, there we go. I feel a lot better with you at nearly full health. However, we have got two mutants in there. And that I don't much like. What are we going to do with you? Right, you're going to go ghosting first. And then we're going to poke our head in and see what's what. So, once again, see anything new? I really don't want to tangle with him until we've killed everything else. Now you just move over there and stay there. As for you, I'm going to be putting you in Overwatch shortly. You desperately re need to reload. Reloaded. And Cormac, you're going to be in Overwatch again. Overwatch. You're taking care of the rear on your own, very far away. That's actually that's probably a very unsound tactical decision on our part. Okay. Who can see him? Oh, I thought that shot was going for Gnagia then. I was seriously worried. Alright, can you mind control him? You've got a 65% chance. It's not so great. What about Jester? Can we get Jester into a position where he can try? Doesn't really give me cover from anything, though. Could always rocket him. Could try a shredder rocket, first and foremost. I really hope this doesn't blow up that thing that we're meant to... Well... Ah, what is that thing? I'm assuming it's something pretty important to us. I don't know. This is risky. I'm assuming we've got to do something with this. It's the only time I've ever seen this. Either that, or it's some sort of power source or something. We might be here for the ethereal, though. But it hasn't told us to. That is, to take it alive, so... This is really, really possibly stupid. But I'm just going to pray. Come on, then. Let's see what you can do. Ooh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That may have given Cormac a line of sight. Line of, line of sight? No, no line of sight. Oh, no, well, there we go. Right. We've got you, and we've got you. Uh, that actually may be a little bit more than we want. Okay, let's see what we can do. If I move Jester... Over there, no. Hmm. If I move Jester up here, perhaps? Let's see. What can you see, Jester? See one mutant. Can you mind control him? That's mind fray. 81%. Give it a shot. Come on. Mwahaha! Very nicely done. But now you don't have anyone to mind control, which is a little bit unfair on you. Let's see if we can get you a bit closer. No, still can't spot anything. Let's move you forward. Okay. So. Oh no, you've got squad sight because of that mutant. That's fantastic. Take the shock now, dear. And you missed. Never mind, you took out a wall. We're gradually reducing all of the structural walls in this... Uh, building all of the load-bearing walls, eventually it'll collapse on them and kill them. It's one way of doing things, I suppose. But you've actually got a shot on someone who's flanked. You've only got a 55% chance to hit, but a 60% chance to critical if you do. Wow. You almost killed him. That was fantastic work. Everyone else go into Overwatch, and we will see what we do. What are you going to do? Oh, no. No, shit. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Not liking. Are we going to kill? 
No. We're gonna shoot the wall. Oh, damn it. Indeed. Very much indeed. And now he's gonna get a free shot. Balls! No! <laughs> get out of there, Island Cormac! Okay, we need to charge in here, I think. We cannot let Alan Cormac suffer. For our hubris. Oh, you've still got squad sight? Fantastic. Oh, you got squad sight on... Is that the ethereal you've got squad sight on? Yes. Okay, let's have a good look at this. We don't know what it can do. It's hardened and receives extra protection against criticals. But he's exposed. Weapon plus 35. I oh, the weapon itself has a plus 35. Okay. Well, I think it's worth it. Go for the shot. Nice work. That's not so good, though. Can we get a rocket down there, I wonder? Oh, balls. Not quite. It might just catch the mutant, though. But honestly, I'm a little bit more concerned about what the ethereal will do to Cormac. So I'm just going to bail. There's absolutely no reason for me to hang around and let Island Cormac get taken out. You just stand there, dude. Now, I'm going to let them come to us once more. You need a reload, though, so... Uh, actually, we won't reload you here. We'll move you back and then reload you. I'll put you over here instead. Still close enough that on our next turn we'll be able to engage, but you're probably not going to be... Uh, hit by anything from there. Right, you do not have mind control for a little while, so I've got to keep that in mind. If only I could set them to use their mind control while in Overwatch, that would be fantastic. Okay, who's going to take the shot? Come on. Oh, bad luck. But again, we're taking out more of these walls. Sooner or later, you're doomed. Oh, he's in Overwatch, okay. A bit tricky. Uh, I could have just a cloak up and then use his uh, mind fray on him, perhaps. Oh, you've still got sight, actually. You got a. Oh, it's only a 32. Mind fray? 95. Okay, go for it. I think this is a kill. And indeed it is. Well done. So. We have only got one thing left. Granted, it is the thing that is most worrying me. That and the sectopod are the biggest threats here. We've already eliminated the sectopod. And in, honestly, we did it quite well as well. Let's do this. With a minimum of fuss. But, uh, yeah. I'm less enthused about the chances we have against the ethereal, though. Right, let's go into Overwatch. Everyone can go into Overwatch. We want him to come to us, so we've got a chance to shoot him again. We might be able to kill him, but... Uh, if I can, I really don't want to take him alive. Uh-oh. What was that? thought that was an attack for a moment. I was getting quite panicked. Um, where can I move you? Well, I kind of like you being there, honestly. Jester, let's get you down so you can also take some reaction fire. Oh, this, is, this is a really hard choice because I'm terrified of what this thing can do. <laughs> I know I've said that it's dangerous, but I really don't think I've imparted upon you how dangerous it is in both the original and what I've seen in this game. I think whoever we send in there first is probably going to die. And that's such, such a terrible choice to make. Because I don't know if lightning reflexes or anything would work against it. I don't think it's armed. I think it uses its psionics to attack. So I don't know if Jester's lightning reflexes would get him past it. Right, okay, come on. Let's, let's ghost you up and have a look. Ah, this is risky. So, so risky. Um... Let's walk over this side, because it's more likely that we're going to be alright there. Uh, we can ghost you as well. Oh, I love this armor. Right, let's get you inside. Where is the ethereal? Okay, 
we don't see him yet. Um, okay, well in that case, let's tiptoe toe forward. Um, oh, so risky. What about you, breakfast item? Where can we put you? Nowhere safe, unfortunately. I guess we could send you with Jester, maybe? Well, actually, we can send you around the side. Okay, we'll dash you up to this point, but we won't take you into line of sight of whatever's over there. As for you, Jester, I'm going to burn your run and gun and get you to someone that's actually got some cover. Um, that'll do. Okay. We are in some good positioning now, I think. Time to go into Overwatch. We have got no one here that I want to lose. I mean, I never want to lose anyone. I said that in the last episode, but... I mean, I would be devastated if we lost any of these guys. They make up so much of our combat potential right now. Uh-oh. No? Okay. I do, unfortunately. Have we got any debris? Yeah, we do. Can also, I guess I could move you up here. Risky, I guess, but come on. Let's see what we can see. Nothing? Okay. Oh, maybe he's in there. Hmm. Right, well, let's creep our entire force forward. I do not want anyone on their own. Is there some... Yeah, okay. There's decent protection there, I think. No, no protection there. Can I interact with this, maybe? Okay, let's, let's see if we can interact with it. No, it doesn't, it doesn't look like... Usually you'll get a mouse over. But that is providing heavy cover, so that's alright. You've got to run all the way in as well. Okay, we're going to move you to this heavy cover since you're going to be dashing. But I need you close now. I... How close can I get you? Go on then. Oh, you've got no jets. That's That's not good. Oh, crap, you've only got one fuel as well. Okay, well, we're going to take you down and land you then. That's it. Jump jets are completely out of fuel. Rockets down. Yep. Permanently. Well, well, at least for this fight. Right, I could move Jester forward, but... Oh, where are you? No, I'm going to... Wait for, till the next turn. I don't want to move anyone forward prematurely. I may open up this next. To, it could be on the other side of this wall. If I could get sight on that without him taking me out, I could have uh, Spartan Cupcake on the next turn rocket the wall, maybe. Oh, no. I do. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. What are you doing? No! Balls! Okay. Crap. Can you rocket him? Shit. I need that wall taken out. Or whatever's on the other side of it. Can we get this shot through? Do it. Afriking's life hangs in the balance. Did you kill him? No, it does not appear that you have. You are letting me down. Cormac, you may be the only thing that's going to save his life. Oh, no, he's in Overwatch. Balls. Didn't expect that. Okay, you've got an eye on him. Okay, let's see if we can get other people into position first. Ah, oh, no, I wasn't expecting that. Well, it kind of was, but it's still bad. Um, oh, I can't run and gun you. 
Can I, however, m counter mind control? That would be good if I could. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Oh, this is going to hell quickly. Have you got any grenades, Chester? No. Have you got any grenades? No. Has anyone got any grenades? They're moving to flank me! The only, uh, if only I could get close enough, I could try and stun him or something. Oh, no, you can't see him. Cover my flank. Why can no one do anything? Okay, go for it. Damn it! So close. They're shifting their attack. No, they're not. They're not shifting it fast enough. Anyway. Leg it, just move as fast as you can. We need to try and get you around behind it. You could pistol her in the back. I've just got to pray that he goes to someone with a lot of health. That is literally the only thing I can do. Hunker down, Jester. Oh. Okay, he's on the move. Knocked in, maybe able to take him out. What? Why did he take damage? No, 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 no. Crap. Oh, mind free. Ha ha! How on earth did you resist? Seriously, that's kind of crazy. Breakfast item, I need you up here, man. Because we are now chasing an ethereal across the map and that is possibly the most stupid thing what where is it damn okay pull out your pistol you might be able to take it down if you're lucky i really need you to move quickly jester i do not know if cormac is going to be able to take this another shot so i'm going to have him bail I can find someone good to send him. I literally cannot see anywhere that would be useful. Except possible. No, that's still not useful. Okay, maybe there. Just leg it, dude. No, not again! You. How? You mind frayed me. This computer cheats. I dislike it greatly with its cheating and stuff. Okay, I'm going to... I know this is terrible, but I kind of want you to stand there to draw his attention. Just hunker down for now. Good luck, Nagdia. We may be able to do one more turn. I'm just going to try and kite him a bit. Oh, no. He's going to die. We need to kill this ethereal. Okay. Jester, I need that door open. We need to know what's on the other side. Nothing? Okay, move. Got you. What? He's got more health. Oh, I bet he's doing some kind of crazy... I imagine he's draining the other guy's life. I could get you in close. Maybe I could make him panic. Okay. Can you get a shot? No. Okay. What about you, breakfast item? Where can you get to? Not nearly close enough, unfortunately. Let's just get close-ish. I do not want to lose Afro King. Heal yourself up, dude. 
He might be able to take another... This might be the last turn that he's under their control. I just don't know. I've got a 0% chance of Mind Brain anyway. Yeah, I wasn't expecting too good a chance. Just go for it. Or I could, well, I could sneak up if I had run and gun, but... How much? This, up to 8 damage. It's nowhere near enough. But... Okay, we're going to ghost. Ghost mode confirmed. If we can get a crit. Run and gun. Moving to firing position. Right up behind him, please. Now. You can still use rapid fire. You've got 71% chance for two shots. Or an 86% chance for one. But you've got a guaranteed critical. Oh, wow. As much as I want this thing alive, I want Sheriff alive even more. What an awesome takedown. I wanted him alive, but that is... No way. No way. Is he still... Oh, phew. I thought for a moment, because they hadn't immediately stopped, that he was still considered their guy, and uh, we were going to have to execute him. But no. No, thanks to Jeff, but Jess's quick thinking... And deadly, point blank, to the back of the head, targeting skills. Everyone comes home alive. Except the ethereal, alas. Would have been good if we could, but uh, I'm willing to accept this. <sighs> that was stressful. Okay, FMV. Is it ethereal corpse, perhaps? Or is it that thing in the middle of the room that the ethereal was standing around? No, it was. I was fairly certain this was going to be important. If only from a game design point of view, you don't tend to make stuff central in a map like that if it's not important. Recovered from a cloaked ship. Indeed. And guarded by the most powerful being we've ever encountered. Now, which one are you talking you about? The Sactopod or the Ethereal? An object of immense power. Think of all we could do if we unlocked its secrets. Mm, I don't know. A dangerous sentiment. Indeed. I, I think I'm with Dr. Shen on this one. I mean, think of all that we could do if we unlocked the power of splitting the atom, and then think of what we did with the power of splitting the atom. Hmm. Yes. Sir. I'm picking something up. Uh oh. Another cloaked ship? No, sir. It's big. Okay. A base? No, it's over water. Oh. Wow. Uh oh. Tell me that was a coincidence. Wish I could, sir. No, you don't. You thought it was cool. I can see it on your face. Directly beneath our new contact. You are a liar. Nothing we have would even make a dent in that thing. Oh, how do you know? We haven't even tried Think yet. If you have any more bright ideas, now's the time. I mean, it's big, granted, but, you know, as I was just discussing the splitting of the atom, nuclear weapons are fairly big. Well, they're not big as such, but the, the explosions they make are fairly sizable. Okay, use the ethereal device as our next objective. Oh, wow. People are out for the count for a little while. Oh, yeah. Five days. I thought you, <laughs> thought this was you for that. I was like, how on earth did you manage to get out of that without being injured? But no, we've got Spartan Cupcake is getting a promotion. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, wow. What have we got here, then? Mayhem. Confers additional damage based on weapon tech level to suppression and all area effect abilities. Uh... Now, question. Would rockets count as area effect? I would imagine they would. You don't really have... Me well, grenades do. Hmm. Rocketeer allows one additional standard rocket to be fired per battle. Um, I would have been good with this had I known that that was something that we would get. 
Um, let's see. You can't suppress, so there's really no point in that. But the, you, it might be quite nice if you if this affects rockets. Oh, I'm really tempted. But right now, the only things that you do that have air effect are your grenades and your rockets. Now, I could either have one extra rocket or make the rockets hurt more. And I've already got two rockets and, yeah, I think we're going to be going for mayhem. I'm not sure if this is going to work as I as I'm thinking it will, but uh, it's worth the the risk. Part and parcel of playing the game blind, I guess. Now, let's see what you get, Mr. Cormac. You get Savior. Med kits restore four more health per use, or Sentinel. Allows two reaction shots during Overwatch instead of only one. Now, as we saw, you did pretty well. Well, actually, did you do Overwatch in the last one, or was it a regular shot? I can't remember now, but you, you do Overwatch quite a lot. I'm a fairly heavy Overwatch player, so that might be worth it. But at the same time... Uh, no, go for Sentinel. We'll go for the offensive capabilities on you. But that was pretty good. I am impressed that none of you were in Red Bay for more than a week, given how much damage everyone took, but uh, well done. So, we've got an ethereal autopsy and an ethereal device research to be done. We have got heavy plasma, another alien grenade, which we don't need. Six mutant elite corpses, one ethereal corpse, two sectoid racks. Oh yeah, there was two of them. Four drone racks, 110 Illyrium, 141 alloys, 38 weapon fragments, and two of UFO power sources, a UFO flight computer, and a bunch of stuff we can immediately sell. Not bad. I think you will all agree. But we're going to have to wait until the next episode to find out what we do with all of this stuff. Can we actually see our dudes in the medway? No. They, mu they must be round the other side. The restricted it. They're probably in some sort of like tube full of amniotic fluids and things. They're slowly being patched up by the best technology we have available to us. But uh, yes, so in the next episode, we're going to see a few things. We've got one day on side testing and one day on the council report. Hopefully it's favorable, given how awesomely we did. Um, are we researching anything currently? No, we're not. So I'll start the research project. We'll go for the ethereal autopsy. Salient appears to be physically weak, even frail, but appearances can be deceiving. It is a remarkably hardy specimen with a brain chemistry and structure unlike anything known to our science. This specimen appears to be at the top of the alien hierarchy, okay. and for good reason. As you've probably seen, its physical form is not suited for combat I by don't know. any means. It's pretty However, easy to take down. these elders have an incredible pool of psionic energy at their disposal, which helps to explain why the other species are subordinate to them. Because they're being mind-controlled and slowly drained of life, as we saw was happening to Afro King. But yes, that'll only take two days. So in the next episode, we've got a few things we're going to see. And in that episode, I'll look at what we can build. But for now, that's the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you will join me for the next. But until then, do take care.